Hi, I'm Robert Reeves with the City of Oklahoma City Utilities Department. Did you know one of the easiest ways to save water in the landscape is to install a soil moisture sensor with your irrigation controller? Soil moisture sensors take the guesswork out of how much to water and when to water. They're affordable, they have university proven results, and they'll work with just about any brand of irrigation controller. Soil moisture sensors prevent irrigation until about half the soil moisture is depleted from the root zone. The result? Deeper roots and healthier plants. When there is plenty of moisture available in the root zone, it can be several days or even weeks before irrigation is needed, depending upon the season. Let's define some terms that apply to soil moisture sensor. The first term is saturation point. Let's imagine this sponge is the root zone of your landscape. Right now, this sponge is at the saturation point. All the pores in this sponge are filled and the sponge cannot hold any water. When soil reaches the saturation point, water runs off the landscape. Our second term can be defined once all of the water stops draining from the sponge. This is called field capacity. Field capacity is the maximum amount of water a soil can hold. The third term is wilting point. It's like this sponge without any water. Water at wilting point is held so tightly by soil particles, it is unavailable to the plant. With unavailable water in the root zone, the plant dies. Soil moisture must be maintained above the wilting point. For most plants, that means water should be applied when about 50% of the available water is depleted. The soil texture in your landscape will determine the rate at which your soil can absorb water and how long it can retain soil moisture. Most of the soils in the Oklahoma City area are clay soils that absorb water very slowly, about one-tenth of an inch per hour. Clay soils have small pore spaces, whereas sandy soils have large pore spaces and can take in about a half inch of water per hour. There's an easy way for you to determine the soil texture in your yard. Add a cup of soil to a jar along with a teaspoon of dish soap. Fill the jar with water just a few inches from the top. Then gently rock the jar back and forth for one to two minutes. And with the dish soap in there, it will help disperse the soil particles. Leave the jar undisturbed overnight. When you come back, some of the soil particles will have settled out. The sand particles are the heaviest and they settle out first. They will be at the bottom of the jar, then next silt, and then finally clay. It may take up to one or two weeks before all the clay particles will have settled on top of all the other soil types. The ratio of sand, silt, and clay will give you an idea of your soil texture. However, if you'd like to get more information about your soil, such as pH, talk to your local county extension office. With soil moisture sensors, how much water can you save? Much of this depends on how much you are watering now. Test results from the University of Arkansas, University of Florida, and New Mexico State University all showed an average 50% water savings in residential and university turf plot studies. The results were compared to controllers with no adjustment, as well as controllers where rain sensors were in use. There are two types of soil sensor products that we recommend. The first is a wireless soil sensor that transmits soil moisture information back to a receiver mounted next to the controller. The second type of soil moisture sensor is like this Rainbird SMRTY that is buried into the ground. It's then wired into the common wire of an electric valve that controls your irrigation system. The common wire sends soil moisture sensor back to the receiver mounted on the wall next to the controller. Like the wireless version, this type of sensor is manufactured out of heavy gauge stainless steel. After installation, every soil moisture sensor must go through a simple calibration process where the sensor learns the moisture content of the soil. Always refer to the manufacturer's instructions on how the calibration process works. How many soil moisture sensors do you need to install on your irrigation system? 
one sensor installed in a representative area of your landscape works just fine. If most of your landscape is full sun Bermuda grass, then you install the soil moisture sensor in that area of your yard. Soil moisture sensor products are interchangeable between brands of controllers, giving you the flexibility to choose the sensor style that works best for you, no matter what branded controller you have hanging on the wall. Like everything else with an irrigation system, soil moisture sensors need maintenance to ensure they are working properly. Wireless sensors have batteries that should be changed out two times a year. Both wired and wireless sensors should be recalibrated once a year too. For the City of Oklahoma City, I'm Robert Reeves. Let's squeeze every drop.